Oh my goodness, I can't keep my hair down, bro. What's going on, everybody? EXO coming at you here, back in the good old garage, getting some stuff buttoned up on the behemoth build. Holy crap, the bass is so intense. We've got some vulnerabilities, if you will, right in your face, and it's not looking good for anybody. I launched a cone right out of my freaking door. The bass was so intense, she came flying out of there like a bat out of hell. You wouldn't believe it. All of these things move even more when they're not even powered because of the pressure coming from inside. So we're gonna try to plug that up today with a little piece of wood. And of course, I don't wanna be sounding like that driving down the road today. So I'm gonna try to fix this side view mirror with all that nasty sound and plastic flex. And then to wrap up this video with a combination of some cool bass demos in between, I want my battery stop to be a beauty queen. That's right, I'm gonna do some carpeted battery stops back here, get rid of those temporary ones with the plywood. So let's go ahead and get this party started, do some bass demos, and maybe even head down to see what Showtime Remy's doing down there with a new 15 inch kicker. Let's have some fun, shall we? Now for those new to this, you may be asking yourself, what the heck even happened to the speaker to make it look this way? Looks like a war zone in the path of all things bass. And well, that's exactly what happened. Inside this cabin with all 1218s pump and bass, these speakers move like mad, even more so when there's not any power going to them. And of course, I was doing some SPL testing not too long ago, and these speakers were just taking the brunt of that abuse. It was crazy. So I'm just gonna remove this uh, speaker that has no parts in it right now, plug it up with a piece of plywood, and then call it a day. But unfortunately, what really stinks about these speakers, you can't find them anywhere. The good old Crescendo Ultra Neos, they are long and gone, a thing of the past, not even at showtime. So it is kind of sad, but man, were these things ever moving like mad? Plug a dub dub, one less in the tub. Got the hole all covered with the oops to make it official. Now, I know what you're probably wondering and you're exactly right, going down to three, it's gonna be a different ohm load now. Two ohm on the left side and 2.6 on the right hand side. So to counter out the different levels and balance now, I'm gonna bring down the left hand side just a little bit. Believe me, I'd love to just chuck a brand new speaker in there and call it a day, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and for a temporary fix, it'll be all right. Now it's time to move on to this old hunk of junka. Not only is this side view mirror separating from the chrome domulus, the hinge damn near breaks off every time the bass hits. 
So with a junkyard find, hopefully we can stiffen this whole thing up with a nice two-part pour of polyurethane foam. These beauties right here are the all-black versions that we're gonna use, a lot stronger at the base. You can see it's a solid chunk of plastic instead of two divided, and we're gonna make it even stronger inside with this two-part foam. We're gonna pour it all inside of it, fill the entire cavity, and then do a nice finishing bead on all the seams of the glass. This next part, I don't want to play any guessing games, so I went ahead and added the hardware back onto the new part, and I'm going to sit my butt back in the driver's seat and get the perfect perspective for driving down the road as far as safety goes, and then tack that position on the mirror. That way, when we add all of that filler, it won't make it all cockeyed left to right. There we go, nice and safe for driving, even though she's not really a commuter car. The only time people really come in and out of this thing is during base demos, and man, it's always such a great time. nice fat bead around the entire thing and I got to admit I was worried there for a second things were looking questionable with the mess but we were able to pull it through with the masking tape it looks fantastic I did this same method on my caravan like 15 years ago but this man we were able to get such nice looking beads I am really proud of that so now each part independently shouldn't flex and wiggle around it should all be nice and tightened up as one. The sealant takes over 24 hours to set up, so while I finish up the second one here, let's go get our buddy Remy even louder with his new single sub setup. That's not bad, ladies and gentlemen, holy. Putting a whole new meat into the word prefab, that is sick. Dude, this is some dang good craftsmanship right here. You got some recessed terminals with the set screw style in there. Ain't going nowhere. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 layers? I'm just glad that we don't have to build a whole new box for this. This just makes things a heck of a lot easier to have something that you can just pick up. Yeah. 
Yeah, so all that's fine and dandy, but let's do the real test. Stick your hand in there and see if they added a little round over on that elbow inside the port. Is it sharp or is it nice and smooth? Smooth. It's smooth, buddy. Nice. Yeah, overall, she's pretty sweet. I think the only gripe I got, though, is the single layer baffle. Maybe they chose that for a reason because they went to the nines on the plywood. But who knows? It's probably strong enough with the amount of gusto this one inch plywood has. I guess I won't be too harsh on her. And the verdict is... 82 pounds. 82 pounds. Holy crap, man. She carries herself well. I didn't expect it to weigh that much, to be honest. Now I'm curious to know how much our box weighs. So now we got the 12-inch kitten caboodle up there. She's 111 pounds, minus the quick math. Remy, it is... The box is 50 pounds. Oh my gosh, what are we working with? Like a millimeter or two? Right <laughs> around. No way. <laughs> Hold on, I think we're gonna have to make a call here. We are trying to test this out. Are we gonna have to make a, we need to help somebody out. I don't think this is the right size, man. intermission mm -hmm. we we may or may not have forgotten to send them the actual cutout for the l7x 10 yeah, 12 that 15. that would help right with these perfect little rounded edges that's all we had to do did a little cut around the corners and she's good to go good thing this was the first one and uh this is kind of our test dummy That's 140.86 at 42 hertz. Single 12. There you go, 143.7 right out the gate. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, there we go, a little modest swap with a 12 to 15. Looks like it did just the trick for a DB or two up on the dash. What do you think of it, Remy? I mean, sub isn't even broken in yet and it's already louder than what we had in there, Old Faithful. Sounds good. <laughs> Should do the trick just keeping it super simple with a screwed in platform you can see that it fits in real tight on both sides of the battery bank and since there's a layer of foam on the bottom i can push it in real tight without worrying about any annoying vibrations go ahead and take this out because it's obviously not going to look like this in the end i'm actually thinking carpet versus paint because of the different textures right here already and i'm not spending a hundred dollars on herculiner so let's go ahead and lay down some glue and see how good we can make this thing look
Man, I'll tell you what, even though I'm not much of a carpeting guy, I am very proud of how this turned out, especially since I added the roundovers on the corner. Going in tight with the razor was kind of a pain. You can't even tell that I was struggling though. Nice and fastened securely with those screws gleaming in the background of that beautiful battery bank. Mm. 800 amp hours, definitely doing the trick, but boy, that recharge level is just uh, the Achilles heel. I got a base demo to show you here where I'm damn near ashamed sitting in there with someone just jamming away probably a good hour into it and she just needs more alternators. I only got one on there expecting the world out of it. So obviously she's got her weak spot, but man, those base demos are just next level. something about cruising them back roads just basing all by yourself some of the best times are when i'm all alone just jamming but i did get home and notice a little bit of carnage at my feet looks like we broke some more prongs off at the base goodness that's like number six unfortunately that means the dash is now hanging on for dear life and it's starting to create this crease from the point of pivot can you see that on camera i guarantee that's going to develop into a crack soon because all this just moves way more than it should. That's what those little prongs were that went into the front. But that's what you sign up for when you build a behemoth this big, just chasing problem after problem. At least we were able to fix a couple few of them in this video, hanging out with you guys, did the side view mirror, plugged up our door panel. We're still gonna have to figure that out here in the next video. I got some four channel videos, but I shot myself in the foot because I can't bridge them at two ohms. So I'm either gonna have to
have to reconfigure at four because I got eight ohm right now. So I don't know. We're still going to figure that out. It's always something when you got a big build like this. So until the next video, I hope you guys are staying loud, staying proud, staying happy, staying healthy. This is EXO. Thanks again for joining today's little smorgasbord of content. Just a little variety pack from your man right here. All right. I will talk to you in the next video. EXO signing out. Right, yeah, 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 ye